Hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Now MTV had some of the cringiest shows back in the 2000s and today we're going to be talking about one of those. Now if you don't know the premise of this show, this show is called Room Raiders and in this show one girl gets to look at three guys room and then based on those rooms gets to choose the guy that she wants to take on a date. This idea reminds me sort of like a love is blind before love is blind even ever existed. This show was going off the same premise that maybe you can find somebody that you're compatible with because the room fits the qualities of a person that you're looking for and therefore you're compatible with that person. Let's go ahead and meet the three guys and one girl that are on the show today. Today, watch sexy psych major Amber give three studly students the surprise of their lives. Oh, sexy psych major and three studly students. Are we sure we're watching an MTV show right now? My name is Amber. I'm 23 years old and I'm a psych major at the University of Georgia. I like when a guy has dimples, when he has a little bit of a fashion sense that doesn't hurt, and if he can dance. That's definitely a turn on. That's really awesome that she likes all these things. It's too bad that this show is about room rating and not not about looks or dancing or anything like that, so you're not going to be able to know any of those things about these guys in the show. Amber is going to inspect the rooms of these three college guys. My name is Robbie. I'm 21 years old and I'm a criminal justice major here at the University of Georgia. I like to date girls that are hot. <laughs> That's the first thing you look at, of course, so <laughs> can't get past that. Robbie, we know you like hot girls. You could have said anything else. You could have said, I'm interested in a girl that's funny. I'm interested in a girl who's driven and goal-oriented. Can you imagine if he like sees the girl for the first time and he's like, I don't even care if I win this challenge. This girl's ugly. My my name's David, I'm 21, I go to the University of Georgia and I'm majoring in telecommunication arts. In my spare time, I like to make some prank phone calls. Maybe we could wash our dogs together. I think making prank phone calls is definitely a telecommunication art. I see we have picked a couple of winners to start this show off. The first guy is 100% only into looks of women, not into really anything else. He made it very clear, he just wants someone who's hot. And the second guy loves prank calls, so maybe if the girl picks him, they can prank call a bunch of people together because that's a fun day night, right? Maybe after you bring me my chapstick, we can both go to PetSmart and wash each other's dogs together. I really pranked them good. My name is Daniel. I'm 21 years old and I go to the University of Georgia. My major is philosophy and pre-law. I'm on the track team here. I throw the javelin. I'm a very dedicated, focused person, but to a fault, I guess some people would say I have OCD. When I want to express myself, I write a little poetry, and to relax, I like to do some yoga. Gee, ladies, I wonder who's going to win this challenge. The guys have no idea the crew is on their way. Catching them off guard, they'll have no time to clean up or hide anything. This is a weird thing I noticed in Room Raiders. They always just go kidnap the three guys that are on the show. Like they just go knock on their door, open it, and then pull them out and then throw them into a white van. And I find that to be terrifying. Hi guys, surprise, oh, you're on Room Raiders. Oh, she's oh, hot. Hey. <laughs> bro, am I right? Bro, she's hot. Bro, no way. Yeah, I agree, bro, she's hot. And today, I'm gonna be choosing one of you to go on a date with me. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't get to see her speak to you, but I do get to search through your bedroom. No, no, no. she is not gonna go she's in my room. Think. The show's name is literally Room Raider. They raid your room. It's like the whole premise of the show. Now this guy's like, oh my goodness, I cannot believe this girl's about to go through my room. That's something that happens on this show? Right, that's, that's my place. Hey, <laughs> how's it going? Not bad, how are you? Good. So, what can you tell me about this guy? Is he a cool guy? Great guy. Great, Great guy? guy. <laughs> That's cool. So, how is he with the ladies? What would you say? Very smooth, I guess you would sum it up real quick. Uh -huh, suave. Oh, nice. <laughs> was my man eating plain pasta on that plate there? Because that is a complete crime. That is a total crime. Dude, that is one high that? power telescope. <laughs> what are you looking at over there? You can't see the sky. Oh, busted. I hope that's not a girl's room over there. That is terrible. The first thing she finds is a high powered telescope in his room that doesn't have any access to the sky. I get you could probably take it outside at night and like look at stuff with it, but she immediately assumes that he's like a peeping Tom. No, yeah, not a good start, Robbie. Let's see what you you have in your closet dress suit very cute georgia Woo! <laughs> good dogs hey. oh, oh, oh. i'm loving that this girl really likes you let's check out the desk a picture of a girl's butt oh, oh, wow. oh, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's a, a, a butt between the girl's butt and the telescope i don't know robbie kind of sketchy <laughs> that is one of the weirdest pictures i think you could probably choose to have is just like a random butt on your wall georgia hat go dogs very good 
Uh oh, Robbie, a temper. Is this what you do when you don't get what you want? That looks like it's about this size. Temper, oh, temper. Crap. no, something oh. knocked in my it's scary. door. Gosh. Don't lie, that looks literally like a fist that went straight through the wall. I don't like guys with a bad temper, Robbie. Oh. He didn't honestly expect her not to grab the hat and see the hole in the wall. Like, he didn't make any effort to patch that up, even with some tape. Here we are at house two, the year of the condor. <laughs> I've never heard of the year of the condor. I have no clue what that is. Please explain the year of the condor. Uh, the condor's so deep, y'all. But what it means for us, dude, is just kind of, you know, doing what you want for a year, man. The second apartment that we're graced with is David's apartment. And this is the most bro dorm that I've ever seen in my entire life. Of course, she's probably going to hate this, though. As evidenced by the condor on the wall and its arch nemesis on the other wall. And this, have no clue what that that's, is. That's, uh, that's the condor's bitter enemy, the ghost of mediocrity. The ghost of mediocrity? Are we talking about my whole life? No! What is this? Oh, what is that? What is this girl? <laughs> you, rec you recognize that guy? No. Beavis and Butthead. Those are squash, man. I'm, I'm into squash art. This guy has Beavis and Butthead squash that he made. How crazy is that? I didn't even know you could do squash art until now. I'm not liking that too much. Kind of weird. Oh, she's not liking that? Oh. This poor guy just wants to make squash art with his friends. Don't hate on him for that. Oh, that is disgusting. <laughs> That's nasty. Oh. I don't even want to touch that. But anyway. So that's how you roll. Did anyone tell this guy that he was gonna be on Room Raiders 2? He could have at least like scrubbed the bottom of his bathtub like one once over. It takes like two seconds. But I guess these first two guys missed that memo or something. I don't know what they were doing. So after looking through these first two guys' rooms, she doesn't seem impressed at all. So things are looking really good for Daniel. We finally made it to house three. Oh no, that's my neighborhood. Oh my goodness, none of these guys knew they were gonna be on this show, did they? Where did he think she was gonna go? The local McDonald's and have a Big Mac? There was only one house left to go to. We have a yoga mat, that's neat. This is nice, you have a fountain. We got some pennies in there, make a wish. <laughs> I wish he's as hot as his car is. Oh, awesome. As you wish. I would say I feel really bad for the first two guys because they stand no chance with this third guy. She's already more impressed with him than she is with the other two guys. I'm pretty sure she's already made up her mind. Let's see what books you have. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, 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 dude. She walks straight in this last guy's room and goes straight for his poetry book. Poetry, my effort to be. Poetry? What is that? That's my poetry book. Are you serious? Is there anything this guy doesn't do? Like, he does poetry, he's in track, he does yoga. My, what a small bed. I don't think there's room for both of us on that. Where there's a will, there's a way. If you guys want to fit on that bed, you can make it happen. We're going to check your bed with the black light to see if you have had any guests in this tiny bed. Can I go ahead and confess right now? Or? <laughs> Nothing to hide, no lie. I, I know we're all expecting just an absolute glow-in-the-dark light show from this, but it actually surprisingly ends up being the cleanest bed I've ever seen. The reason for that is, like, no shame. I'm a virgin. I'm just wow. waiting for the light oh, Are yeah. you for all? So, so, so. Waiting, waiting for my sleeping beauty. There's like a 99.9% .9 chance I think everyone watching understands that she's gonna pick this guy, right? I've seen all three rooms. It was a really tough decision, but I think I've made my pick. Let's go meet the guys. Yeah, it was a really tough pick between the guy that was a little bit creepy, the guy that was just incredibly weird, and the guy who seems like he has his entire life together, does poetry and yoga, and has a fountain in his house. This may be actually the most easy decision of her entire life. Now watch the tables turn when the guys get their chance to raid Amber's room. I wanna go throw her clothes, man. <laughs> Upper sheets are clean. So a fun little thing I forgot to add about room raiders is that after she goes through all three of their rooms, they all three at the same time get to go through her room. Guys don't play games going through stuff. They don't mess around around and I stick three of them into the same room at the same time, this is gonna be good. Woo! Let's go guys, Woo! Let's, let's go. They pull up all excited. They pull up like they're kings of the world ready to go on this exciting mission. Oh, what is this? Mom, what, what is this? <laughs> I don't understand. You're 100% right guys. I literally have no clue what that is. All right. There we go. Hey. That'll oh, work. Yeah. Let's see if we can find some bras. She sure wasn't wearing one. Less than two minutes into the room and they're already looking for her bras. <laughs> Hey guys. Hey, what's up? Funny thing good. <laughs> Couple things. This is gonna be so hard having to choose one of you with y'all right in front of me. But I have to, so we might as well start now. Bedroom one, I love that you had suits hanging in your closet. That shows that you like to dress up. Bedroom two, I loved the pink shirt. You're not scared to show your feminine side. Bedroom three, I love that you're an athlete because that means that you're probably in great shape and you probably have a great body. Based on the bedrooms, I know one of you's an athlete. Now standing here in front of me, you all look like amazingly strong, fit 
great athletes. So she probably knows in her head here that bedroom number three is the really fit, good looking guy. But the whole point was to see who you wanted to be with based on their rooms, then you shouldn't put them in front of you when they're picking. So anyway, she eliminates hole in the wall telescope guy and it comes down to the two finalists. Who could possibly win? Bedroom two, you are eliminated. Congratulations, Please, dude. Yeah. Uh, all right, well, hey, thanks. Sorry, thank That's you, all right. thank you, know, you. I just, I, I wish you could have learned more about the year of the condor, though. Me too. All right, so. All right, bye. bye. Don't worry, man, I'm interested in learning more about the year of the condor. Email me. I was a little worried that Daniel didn't have that many dress up clothes in his closet, but now that I've seen his body, I don't know if he's gonna need them. Again, proving the point that love is in fact not blind and shows like this do not work. By the way, what's up with no shirt? Well, I was also wondering, what's up with no bra? Oh my God. <laughs> nah, I'm just messing. So she picked the guy that we all knew that she was going to pick. So now all there is to do is for me to wave bye to you and to maybe click on the video that the algorithm is suggesting that you might like on my channel if you enjoyed this one. Well, Amber and her new boyfriend do yoga. I bet you they only lasted one month, one month max. And I think that that's pushing it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.